guys, I'm Sticks, Old Window Production. Today I'm gonna show you the brand new Boss Dual Cube LX for guitar. This tiny box is really amazing, guys. As soon as you see this really small box, you can say, hmm, maybe it will not sound really good. Instead, this sounds amazing guys and in my opinion this really tiny amplifier can be really useful for practicing at home at bedroom volume uh, because you can also record directly you can also listen directly through the amplifier with your headphones without making any noise but you can also use the two speakers built in which are really loud guys for street artist in my opinion and since you can also use this box without the cable so the power supply is uh, included but you can also use with batteries 8 AA batteries if I remember well you can bring this really tiny amplifier with you go to the beach you can play you can make all the noise you want whatever you want guys so let's start say that i have to send a huge thanks to lucky music because this post dual cube lx has been sent me from lucky music so let's start talking about the boss as you can see is a really tiny amplifier the two speakers inside are four inches and five watt per speaker and basically you get 10 watts of power and trust me 10 watts of power is really really enough to play live in a street as you can see on the upper panel here you have all the control you need you have six different amplifiers you can choose from and you have moreover the preamp mic so basically you can also use this with a microphone and also an, uh, a stereo input so basically you can send your backing track and you can play over the backing track and the two speakers inside have been developed especially for this reason so to get really great guitar tones but also uh, great stereo sound for your backing track since you have two different speakers also the modulation for example the reverbs are stereo and this is great guys even if you have only two speakers really really close you can listen the stereos uh, image when you are close to the the amplifier this is a plus for me then of course you have the shared equalization to bass mid treble uh, you have also the gain and the volume per each uh, amplifier and this will behave also differently depending on the amplifier you are using then you have the uh, effects you have two different knobs for the effects the first is for the modulation so you have the chorus tremolo uh, phaser uh, octaver and the um, flanger on the second you have the delay and the reverb for this reason i think this is just a bit limited because for example you cannot use delay plus reverb you have to choose or delay or reverb because you are in the same uh, knob okay about reverb you have a uh, reverb here that i think it's like a whole reverb really large and then you have also the spring reverb uh, then of course you have the master section for the overall volume as you can see here you have the plug for your headphone and also the dedicated volume knob for your headphones um, as you can see here you have a knob for the memory and a knob for the delay this knob for the delay is for the tap tempo while this for the memory is really interesting because you can choose between three different presets per each amplifier so basically you can uh, manage this box via midi via midi with the foot switch scrolling between 27 uh, memories because three per each kind of amplifiers and this is really great basically uh, as you can see here i am in a gray position so basically there is no the memory and what you can see here on the panel is exactly what will be reproduced by the amplifier but if i touch and now is green uh, here basically you have a preset then you have the red another preset and then you have the yellow another preset for this particular amplifier again i can go to the live mode basically talking about the rear control you can use basically this boss unit in whatever 
uh, way you want you can use with the usb you can record directly you can use this basically like an audio interface and goes directly to your DAW. Uh, then you can also go to the pa system because you have the line output stereo line output you have the foot switch you can use with a, a looper today i'll not show you how to use uh, in a looper way this boss unit because i'm not a looper guy you have also stereo input this is really interesting you can basically send two different instruments or send directly a backing track this is really really great okay so let's start talking about the sound but before i have to say how i marked up all today so since this unit can be used both for bedroom and both for uh, live situation I mic'd up in a different way. This is the main microphone, it's a Lowton Audio LS208 and is basically in front of the boss, but it's not really, really close as usual because you have two speakers, okay? So I want to listen all the stereo image of the speaker, even if this is only mono, but you have to keep in mind that all the signal goes to this caption. So it's, let me say 20 centimeters away then i have a stereo mic uh, basically near the the main uh, camera uh, r2 uh, akg c 451b placed in out of position and they are listening basically the the room and it's basically like a live recording like you are in the street and listen the um, street artist okay okay and then is recording in my persona studio 192 so today i wanna uh, place basically the the balance much more on the room and less on the near position microphone okay let's talk about the sound let's start from the first amplifier which is the acoustic simulation let me say this acoustic simulation is really great i really love how it uh, changed the sound of my electric guitar so let's listen. Let's change some equalization. Let's open the treble and less meets basically to listen more the strings <laughs> I really like this acoustic simulation. <laughs> Also add some effects some reverb as you can see basically the knob works in this way as you can see if I turn the reverb and delay you have this red LED that if I move 
it's blinking very very fast because this is the BPM of the delay. If I play, it's really really fast and going up slower and slower. And if I turn again, I'm going to the reverb range and start with a reverb really uh, close up to really long with higher amount. Sounds amazing. And if I go again all the way up, you can go in the range of the spring reverb. Okay, now let's crank just a bit the gain. Let's listen if this clean amplifier can also crunch. Let's lower the volume, of course. The maximum, mm, just a bit, just a bit. Okay, let's switch now to the other amplifier. This is the US combo and I think it's basically a Fender amplifier. Let's start with a clean sound. Let's add some Ooh, delay. Just a bit of delay. Let's crank a bit. Let's lower the volume. I can listen, it is just a bit muddy, too much meat though, so... Okay, let's switch to the other channel, which is the Brit combo, basically it's a UK sound, 
So this could be less focus me. Okay, let's start with the clean chan. <laughs> crunch let's add some reverb <laughs> you can also add other modulation like a chorus Flanger. Let's switch now to high gain. Let's listen how it behaves. With very low gain. Seems like a sound of JCM 800 from Marsha. <laughs> Let's switch now to metal sound. Wow, it's totally different, the voice. At the noon, with the gain really low. Sounds amazing. And now let's switch to extreme guys. All at the noon, lower gain. This is really, really tight. I prefer with low mids, just a bit low treble because it's really bright. Really bright. <laughs> With 
really scoop sound, this will sound, I think, like Pantera. <laughs> gain, delay, and some chorus, and you have the solos of Pantera. <laughs> guys you have also the mic preamp and the stereo amp um, now I want to show you how it behaves basically the memory so let's choose for example a sound without any sound so for example this is my live sound if I switch to memory green there is a reverb and a flanger or a phaser. I think it's a phaser. Red. There is a tremolo. And yellow. There is a delay and other uh, gain amount. Of course, you can um, save your own presets. You have stockly all the memory, uh, all the bank memory uh, pre-saved, but you can overwrite your own. So let's change, for example, to a clean sound. This is my sound without any memory. Clean. With the memory green. You can also uh, manage with your foot switch all the memory, so really, really great. I have to say that you can also manage this boss with your phone, so with an application, but you need the Bluetooth um, optional device that you can find behind basically the plug. It's optional and it's a cons this, so you can you have to purchase separately this if you want to manage all with your phone. You have the application that is really, really great, really similar to all the boss editor, basically, same design. And you can manage the boss without any pedal, without any cable. Really, really great sounds. Really great, guys. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.